Hi all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Let's start reviewing using UI path. In today's session, we are going to discuss about copy file folders, move file folders, and delete file folders. In previous session, we have discussed how to find a particular file folders, download file folders, so as well as how to convert a particular document to PDF. So these all kind of file operation will be going to use, and we are going to use your one drive activities in your enterprise level. So let me quickly jump back to the UI path studio and start our today's session. Let me go to the UI path studio. So here we are going to use copy a folder, move file folders and delete file folders, right? So before that, so what particular file you are going to copy or a folder you are going to move or copy or you are going to delete. So we have to define that, right? So we can define those using our find file and folder. So this particular activity which help us to find a particular file or folder so which need to be operated in your file operations. So let me drag and drop this particular activity. So here, so as we discussed in earlier session, so we are going to provide all the parameters, right? So which is query, subfolders, and then first and results. So let me try to pass all this now. Let me go over here to UA path guide dot DOA, correct? So and then subfolder, which is UA path. Perfect. So let me try to create a output variable so which is first five item and then results as a result drive item awesome so we have passed all our queries and then subfolders as well as we have created the variables too so now we are going to perform all the operations. So it can be a similar thing seen in the last session. Okay. So let me drag and drop our if condition. So this particular activity which help us to avoid the errors in the negative scenarios. This particular file in folder will play a vital role when you are going to perform the file operations. So let me go here. Result dot count equal to zero then save let me go here and make a right line which is file not exists sorry yeah perfect and then so let me make our operation in the else part now so what are the operation you are going to perform copy right so let me type as a file so that you can see all the operations over here. So initially we are going to copy a file, correct? So let me drag and drop. So here in the copy file folder, so we are going to provide two parameters as a mandatory one, okay? So which is nothing but drive item and then destination folder which is nothing but drive item. So both are a drive items. So where you are going to copy which is a drive item and where you are going to paste that, so that is also a drive item. So let me provide a first drive item which you already created. Awesome. So destination folder. So we didn't define any folder, right? So as such. So define a folder. So to find particular destination folder, what actually we have to do? So we have to use our get file folders which help us to find where you are going to paste your particular items. Okay. So let me drag and draw get file folders. So this particular get file folder which help us to find our destination folder. Okay. So let me click on this folder icon and we can place over here documents. Open. Perfect. And then so what actually we have to do? So we have to create an output variable. So you can see ID has been auto generated, right? So when you are going to select the particular item or a particular folder, so ID will be auto generated. Let me try to create an output variable over here. Let me go over here, control K. So DST and then drive item. Perfect. So we have created a destination drive item as well. So what actually we can do? So we can call this particular destination drive item over here now. So which is DST drive item. So what actually will be happening over here now? The file which has been found in the UI path folder will be copied to the destination folder which is nothing but documents. So let me try to run this and then try to move the next activity. Looks like our existence is done now. 
so let me go to the OneDrive and check particular folder so let me go to the documents here okay let me try to refresh this particular site so once it has been refreshed I can able to see the UI path guide right perfect so likewise you can able to use your copy to file folder or move file folder so both will be working in a similar fashion so I would suggest you can go ahead and try with your move file folders so let me help you to delete the particular file or folder in a OneDrive okay so let me try to remove this particular activity and go there let me try to use delete so here we have a couple of activities so in this so we are going to use our delete file folders awesome so here what what the particular file we are going to delete inside this uipath folder so we have a uipath guide right so we are going to delete that particular file in the uipath folder so this is the particular document which are going to try to delete now okay so let me go over here so only one input you are going to pass so which is nothing but drive item so let me try to pass the first drive item awesome correct so this particular first drive item will help you to understand the path as well as which file need to be deleted okay so let me try to save this and run now let me go to the one drive and check so how it is happening so let me wait for a bot to get executed looks like our execution is done so let me go to the output panel perfect okay so let me try to refresh in this particular page so that we can able to see the results got refresh now so we can able to see that UI path guide has been deleted correct so likewise you can able to utilize your copy file folders download file folders or move file folders so these are the all the activities which can be utilized in your OneDrive so hope it will be helpful for you thanks for watching happy learning have a good day